first went to the doctor um, and a week after the diagnosis lah actually dia 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 check ambil sampel dulu then i was told that i had cancer so masa first time ada dapat tahu of course kita terkejut tapi at the same time masa I dapat tahu adalah time orang COVID, time COVID Delta. So, nak panic pun, it kind of put yourself, put your uh, penyakit in perspective. Nak panic fikir uh, kejap time ni pun, you know, there's death around you. So, it seems that the cancer is not the worst case scenario. So, bila I dapat tahu tu, uh, of course balik and I fikir how do I to tell my family ke friends ke apa kan because it is overwhelming memang bila dapat tahu ada cancer tu normally orang punya perception is cancer is you're going to die you're going to die so kita buat tu macam panic tapi at the same time bila ada delta punya case around you and everybody is dying you think you through perspective you fikir you boleh eh you ada masa lagi there are time so for my first step was to tell my uh, immediate family and close friends. So masa bagi tahu tu actually is to uh, minta tolong. Kita because I'm a single mother, I have two daughters. So I dah fikir macam okay, I'm trying nak handle nak pergi. Kita dah faham ada macam kena therapy, kita dah dah baca kan. Uh, basically tahu agak-agak lah kan. So I needed help. The first person I reach out to of course uh, my uh, family, immediate family and my friends. Tapi bila bagi tahu tengok reaction dia orang kan, ada yang macam calm, ada yang macam dah nangis-nangis. So I decide okay, I cannot tell more people sebab masa tu pun I tak tahu uh, my cancer which what stage. Kita tahu kita ada cancer, lepas tu nak the next treatment. I just fikir okay, what's the next treatment? I want to get the cancer out and then go for treatment. That was my plan. So bila I cakap uh, I think about a handful dalam lima orang um, Bila dia tengok, okay, some of the reaction is oh, yang menangis menangis. Okay, I fikir, okay, I cannot handle that because kita nak positif. So uh, once I dah ambil lima orang yang I perlukan bantuan, as in to sort out, help with my kids, help with my uh, trip apa tu, macam mana nak handle, tolong I bantu I dapat treatment. Lepas tu baru I macam fikir, okay, I need to reach out uh, to people yang uh, gone through it supaya I boleh tahu what's the next step. Sebab so, bila Kalau berwarak dengan orang yang tak go through it, um, the reaction is different. You sometimes cannot take it the way they react. It's not just kita pun dah takut kan. So that's when I first contacted uh, Magna. I went on the website, I search Magna, contact Magna, and then I just uh, send a message that I need to talk to people with the same uh, penyakit. So I told them what my penyakit was and immediately terus like pagi I message by noon I dah dapat uh, response and dia orang um, sertakan I dalam satu group of uh, uh, cancer survivors and the difference is overwhelming when you talk to uh, people who hasn't gone through it yang nampak macam you nak mati the next day and then you masuk dalam group yang cancer survivor they are talking about living living and all of them went through worse uh, you know dan yang lebih teruk yang i dengar macam oh lagi takut kan but all they talk about is how to live so it was a big help lepas tu i terus nampak macam uh, perspective of the penyakit was different it's not a death uh, macam dah macam show sure death punya scenario and at that time dengan delta tu like every kanan kiri we hear death and i suddenly see that cancer is a just a warning you are the time. You are the time to solve everything. You are the time to correct uh, whatever you need to do lah. Uh, so uh, right after that, uh, I went through the uh, proper diagnosis. Betul betul, uh, I went to surgery. So for my rahim cancer, uh, I had to uh, I had to choose lah whether I just want to bond the rahim or whatever. I decided to do total hysterectomy, which is to take out the whole of the reproductive system lah. And after that, a week after that, only I, I got to know what stage I was, which was uh, stage 1A. So, Alhamdulillah, I don't have to go to radiotherapy or chemotherapy. So, basically, it's out of my body. Uh, so, that's the initial stage. Yeah.